Hi there, Richard Nick Hoffman 666. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. One thing I've always prided myself on on this channel is finding nutters at a regularity and frequency and at a level of nuttiness that is not feasibly imaginable by your average normal sized brain human being. Today I found one. It's actually a video dealing with something that happened back in March. If I'd have known about this video at the time, I'd have been done doing this back in March, but I can't. This is an American uh, old fuck, uh, old fuck, old Yankee, Yankee fuck, whinging little Yankee old whinging fucking typical little fucking fuck. So a lot of you I know are gonna, instinctively are going to cringe when you hear the title of his channel. It's Propaganda Buster. Well, I'm the proper geezer, Buster. I go on his channel and count how many times you can see the phrase political correctness. This guy goes on about political correctness like it's Voldemort. I just went through his videos and somebody, you know, he, 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 he defends George Bush, Sarah Palin, he defends the Japanese for killing dolphins, he hates Greenpeace. Because I talk a lot about American politics and American uh, things that are going on over in America, people find, uh, you know, Americans are bewildered by this, giving a shit about what happens outside for the rest, where the rest of the water is. Why, why do you give a shit about what goes on in America? It's nothing to do with you, buddy. Why don't you worry about what's going on in Britain? And I was like, I do worry about what's going on in Britain, and I still find time enough to squeeze your country in. Well, this guy, this old fucking, um, made a video. Well, the video title is The Uncivilized in Luton, England, United Kingdom, Jeer at the brave Royal Anglican military. Now, I'm pretty sure that this guy never heard of Luton before this video. Now, propaganda buster, and he wants to talk about this situation with uncivilised people in Luton. But anyway, we're going to meet him now. Now, let's have a look at this guy's video. This is what he's going to say. Hi, folks. There he is. Look at him there. Oh, boy. There's a guy who hasn't been out of his basement, let alone the country. Recently in the United Kingdom. J Jesus Christ, mate, are you... Bloody hell. In the little bitty town of Luton. Listen, septic. Don't you dare, dare use that well-meaning, yet folksy, little patronising fucking diatribe in describing anything in this country. It's little bitty... Little bitty Ingen. Which is northeast of London. He's got that right, at least. They welcomed home the Royal Anglican unit coming back from Iraq. Ooh, aren't they lucky? I don't know how he heard about this because I never fucking heard of it. Dude, I mean, I live just a couple of hundred so miles from Luton. I couldn't have given a flying fuck. A bomb could have gone off there, I wouldn't know. And the town showed up. No, no, the people in the town didn't show up. The town was already there. I mean, the town doesn't have to show up. Look. Here he is. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that. All those old people. Old people. Old people. Look at all these. Look at all these fourteen-year-olds with their guns. Okay, mate. I think we've got the idea. We know what a fucking march is. Oh, oh I'm changing the music. Everybody loves a good military parade, right? You're right, everyone, lo everyone loves a military parade. Do you know who loves them the most? The families and the friends of the soldiers who have died. Oh, I love it. They want to have more kids just to fucking go through that. Really? I'm sorry, we're playing that again. Really? And again. Really? And again. Really? This could be the new bitch beard. <laughs> Look at that cackling laughter. This man has got a fridge full of dead children. Apparently, in that little town of Luton, United Kingdom, in that little town of Luton, <laughs> there happens to be a branch of probably Code Pink from San Francisco. No, we don't have Code Pink from San Francisco as a branch over here. Uh, for everyone else outside of America, they are basically, I imagine they're, they're like an anti-war group, but they're, they're called Code Pink because they're mainly, made, they're basically predominantly females, lesbians. But no, we don't have a branch of Code Pink. We do have female anti-war activists, so, yeah. Perhaps 
the Westboro Baptist Church from Kansas. No, funnily enough, again, mate, again, believe it or not, we, 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 we didn't ship out a branch. We haven't got, like, a fucking sub-office of the Westboro Baptist Church. They haven't even got one in Kansas. I happen to think... You, no, you don't. It's an auxiliary branch of the Democratic Party leadership from the United States. Can I blind you with something here, mate, you might not have considered? This country has existed a hell of a lot longer than yours, and believe it or not, not everything that fucking exists outside of your country is necessarily a branch off of it. In fact, if you do your history research, you'll find out that the sort of ancestors of the American country as we know it today were a branch off from this country. Yeah! Oh, God, we're we doing that again. Yeah! Here, look at them! <laughs> yeah, let's pause that there, and just, I want you to look at this. Yeah, let's, uh, turn, let's look at these guys. Yes, this is the... Yeah, those are the group. That's the guy. Okay. Now... I don't think you could have got a group of people who could be any less like the Westboro Baptist Church, the Democratic Party in America, and Code Pink combined than those fuckers there. Those are what we call Muslims, right? Really? Those are Muslims who um, are... You can sort of tell this um, by the... I mean, if you needed a clue... Bitch! Beard! The, the idea that you would look at these guys and try and compare them to any of the three groups that you've just fucking mentioned is like me saying having this exchange with you was like making love to Angelina Jolie. I'm, d I'm stuck. I'm actually dumbfounded. It doesn't happen often. Uh, and, and it's obviously a devastating process. I mean, look, there's fucking loads of them. I mean, there's all of, what, four policemen standing in front of them? A despicable bunch. They were protesting those brave men and women. That's what they were protesting. No, they were protesting what they'd just been doing and the reasons that don't exist that they were doing it for. That's what they're protesting. They do have a right to protest. I know some people don't like it. I think it's counterproductive. I think it, uh, it doesn't help. I think it just ultimately creates more tension. What's wrong with that? And here's what I have to say to those despicable protesters. Oh, can't wait. A, a bunch of guys from Afghanistan and Iraq who live in Luton are going to be fucking glued to their computer screen to find out what you've got to tell them, aren't they, fucking Elmo? If you do not like the military of the United Kingdom... I think they probably like less the idea that the military of the United Kingdom are currently in the country that they uh, either came from or are, uh, you know, have some heritage in, and they're there killing people and blowing up things that they know and recognize. That, that's probably what they were doing. If, if, there was a, if you were having that war in Canada, I don't think those guys would have been there, do you? Hmm. Why in the world did you migrate to the United Kingdom? Where does this fucking idea come from? Where every time... A, it's, like, it's like immigrants are... are, are they're exempt from moaning. They're, like, they're, you know, they're not allowed to complain. British people who live here, you know, indigenous British people who were born in this country, we never complain about anything, do we? We complain more than it, we complain to the point where if we've got nothing to complain about, we complain about that, right? Just because you fucking came from another country doesn't mean you have to immediately assume that this country that they they come from, this is perfect. It is an idea. Maybe those guys migrated to this country because they saw all those soldiers arriving in their country. So they thought, fuck this. All right, let's take it a step further. They're not immigrants. They were born in the United Kingdom. So you despicable people who were protesting in Luton that were born in the United Kingdom, if you have a problem with the deployment of your military, why do you protest the military? Why did you go to your elected representatives and parliament and protest? Excuse me, mate. Okay, first of all, when you have a protest, it's generally a good idea, if you want to get noticed and get your point across, do something controversial that will get you noticed. I mean, this, these guys clearly did, because there's some fucking Oompa Loompa gonk fucking sat somewhere in, in, in America sitting there judging them for it. I mean, if it got to you, this war in this country, there was a three and a half million person protest and fuck all happened. You know, I'm amazed any of them have got the energy to turn up at all. If you're, so if you're not born here, you've got no right to complain. If you are born here, you have to complain. 
Do you can't complain. You know, what are you worried about anyway? It's like the soldiers' feelings. They, they kill people for, just after breakfast, mate. No, 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 the Muslim, there's nasty men who got sides about. I don't give a shit. Why don't you do that, eh? You clearly don't know anything about the complicated, vastly bureaucratic, and incredibly fucking anal system of protest to get it in Parliament. A protest in Parliament Square. You need to fill out more forms than you've ever read. Which would be a postage stamp, but, you know, you know what I mean. Why don't you do that, eh? Why don't you... Go and fuck yourself. Because you're uncivilized. Let me show you. Here are the civilized. Oh, look at that. All those are old fucks. The uncivilized. Oh, yeah, look at them. I mean, God, they're, they're, compared to those guys, they're not moving. You are mental. Is this the most you could find to complain about this day? Looted. Half a dozen Muslims stood next to a fucking parade with three coppers there and had a cup of tea and a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, folks. To the good people of the United Kingdom... I'm, I'm going to speak on behalf of all of them, quite confidently, and say that, that we would rather have our heads ripped off slowly with a piece of cheese wire attached to a midget that's just been chucked out of an aeroplane than sit here and listen to you moralise and judge about a situation you clearly know nothing about based around politics you clearly are incredibly fucking unaware of and, and based around a fucking scenario that was completely and utterly unnecessarily blown out of proportion by paranoid fucking right-wing idiots like you who want to exploit anything to fucking try and get some news generated. You know, and in the name of all that is fucking unholy in the backside of my trousers and every steaming Jippo's wank stain, you, my friend, can fuck off. Good day, oh boy. Really? Bitch! Yeah! Beard! Bree! Yeah! Volvos! Cunt.